guys, I hope you're good, I hope you're well. You're welcome to my channel, my name is Gloria. My phone has been bombarded with a trending video from parents. I'm going to play the video now. If you haven't watched it, um, have a look at it and then I come back to you with my thoughts. I'm not going to play everything. I'm just going to play a tiny bit of the video and then we can talk. Nobody in this country was ever asked, do you want to become a multicultural society? We got relentless guilt trips, even though we were the ones that had been subjected to the persecution as a people through the centuries. I was watching a really good video the other day about how Trokoro, they used to give us um, the boxes and the little black babies would be there and we were supposed to feel, you know, a sense of terrible shame and guilt that we were so well off here in the West. And in Now, that's how bad it is. Our boys have disgraced us massively. But that is not what we're going to keep talking about. We're going to look for solution. I thought after my last video that people would do something, you didn't do anything. Except for people, men of the Congolese community who have met in Lucan to discuss how to resolve the conflicts amongst their children. Men from other African countries haven't done anything. Nothing. Some people are planning on how to use this as an avenue of business. But that is not what will solve the problem. If you want to solve the problem, you need to be proactive. You need to organize yourselves. Parents, meet up and visit these children. Resolve the matter first. Somebody was telling me he wants to have a conference in Blanchestown to bring all the boys together. I'm sorry, but you're going to have a bloodbath if you try to do that or a near bloodbath. The only way you're going to be free of that is for you to make sure that you have resolved the conflict and they've, they've agreed to be friends again before you attempt anything like bringing them all together in a hall. Enough of the fights. Fathers, mothers, uncles, aunties who have heard about this and have done nothing about it so far shame on you. If you haven't done anything about this issue since it started and you know about it, shame on you. If you're trying to use this as a business avenue, shame on you. If you're sitting your asses down because you feel like your son is six years old, seven years old, shame on you. And may I shock you to know that in the next 10 years, your situation will be way worse than this. Stand up and turn Ireland back to that country where it is said that is the best place to raise children. If you do not stand up now, we are going to regret it. I have said that in my previous video. I don't want to be sounding like a broken record, but you need to get up. If you had been standing up, if you have done something in the past, Gemma Odohati will not insult us the way she has. Let me say to you that I was in the shopping center yesterday, and I saw parents, African parents, they were shopping for Valentine, Valentine. They want to parry, parry, party after party. Now they are that they see on a power. Sit down, brainstorm, look for a way to free your children from the shackles of hell because that's where they are, they are at the moment. I'm sure you can see that from the videos. Look for a way to help them. And the sooner you do it, the better. If you don't do it quickly, it will be bad news. These people are going back to where they came from. And that is the beginning and the end of it. Now, who is Gemma Odohati? Gemma Odohati is a politician who was given an opportunity to talk. Tell us why we should come out in masses and vote for her. Did she do that? No. She decided to prey on the stupidity and ignorance of black boys. She uses their flaws or tries to use their flaws to gain position in politics. One that she has failed to do over and over again. She's a failed politician. And now she wants to use that. Irish people are not that gullible. They are not. This woman was banned on YouTube despite having over 28,000 subscribers. 
And for what? For instigating hate and violence. She was warned severally she did not adhere to the policies. She didn't just stop there. She talks about burning the hijab. Who does that? She walks into a halal shop in Swords looking to buy pork. She says she wants rashes and sausages in a halal shop. You should see the way she talked to, to, the, to the man in the halal shop. Somebody who should be, re, her brain should be reset with correct slaps. That is the Gemma Odohati we are talking about. It, it, it's, it's a disgrace even. Like I, like, I shouldn't be talking about her. I shouldn't even have her name in my mouth. The Irish people, the true Irish, they cringe. They are disappointed at what this woman is doing. Because she prays on ignorant people. And what else? She humiliates people of the minority group. She does so much. She does so much. The worst part is the fact that she's trying to instill hate. She's trying to make people hate black young people. These are promising young men who are at their lowest. Somebody who is coming up to politics should know that she's going to organize for them anger management programs. She should know that she's going to do conflict resolution. She should look for a way to empower them because in empowering them, she's going to have an upbeat society. But is she thinking about that? No. She, instead, she's thinking about how to run them down. Is she talking about the property crisis that we have in Ireland? No. People are sleeping rough all over the place. She's not talking about that. She's not talking about how to alleviate poverty. Nothing of such. She's deciding to pray on the black people. You want to deport. She wants to deport children who are citizens of the land. The same way she can't deport herself. That is the same way she cannot deport this ones. But she's ignorant. That's why I said she's not fit to be in the forefront of our government. If anybody is to castigate and run down people who are migrant, it shouldn't be Gemma. It shouldn't come from an Irish person. Because Irish people are one of the biggest migrants in the world. Now, so you see, there are 34.5 million Irish people or people of Irish heritage who are living in America. That is seven times more than the population of Ireland itself. And yet, somebody who is going to be in the forefront of our politics decides to run her mouth talking about migrants. What impudence. Anybody else can talk about migrants, but not Gemma Odohati, not an Irish woman. It is wrong. It is wrong to discourage diversity because if America, I'm just talking about America. I'm not talking about Australia or other parts of the world. Now we still have those ones, but let's cut that out. Let's just concentrate on just America. So that is the issue on ground. Are you going to say to me that all the over 34.5 million Irish people in America are law-abiding citizens? No, they are not. They are doing things. But when you go wrong in a country, the law of the land deals with you. It doesn't give room to people who are born racist, who are full of hate, to talk about children. The videos that you showed, the video that Gemma Odohati put out there are videos of children. Children who have misplaced priority. Children who have issues at the moment. Children who are only going to look at that video and think about how that they were humiliated and think of how to retaliate. Because those children are healing from the scars of the wound of their being oppressed or humiliated in the past. That is why there has been territorial fights between them. Because when Tala beats Blanchestown, Blanchestown wants to hit back Tala. And these boys are trying to forget about it, but some mistake of a woman 
come out in the open and releases the video again. And to my amazement, she's got supporters. But the good part of it is that the supporters she has are the leftover Irish people. They are not real Irish. A real Irish person wouldn't have the mind that Gemma Odohati has. A re real Irish person wouldn't speak like those people commenting gobshite online. Now, if your son is with you, call him to watch this video. Let me speak to him. Yo, son, have you watched the trending video? Are you happy with what you see? I am very sure that you're not. I need for you to be a bigger man. I need for you to understand that you are royalty. And royalty doesn't throw punches. Have you ever in your lifetime seen a king that is throwing punches on the street? No. So if you're throwing punches on the street, that makes you a miscreant. That makes you a low life. That makes you a man of the lowest cadre. If you're a real man, you will not be throwing punches. So if you want to be a real man, you need to have conversation, dialogue, resolve the conflict on ground. Prove to Gemma Odohati that you're going to become her psychotherapist in the future. Prove to her that you're going to be the leaders of this land tomorrow. Prove to her that though on Irish television it is difficult for you to see a combination of black Chinese Indians and white people. Prove to her that you are going to be the ones to make that happen. Prove to her that you are going to be the one to, to speak. You are going to be the one to do best, the best music. You are going to bring us medals to the Republic of Ireland. You are going to bring to us a great name. You're going to pull out of yourself the shattered garment of poverty, the shattered garment of low life, that shattered garment of disgrace that you are wearing that makes you fight wherever you go. You're going to throw it off and you're going to walk with your head lifted high as a king. You're going to stop disgracing our girls, the girls that are going to become your women and the mothers of your children tomorrow. You will stop disgracing them. You're going to think of what your life would become in the next 10 years. You're going to think of yourself using your left hand, if possible, to drive your convertible and your Ferrari, your Bugatti. Because you're going to work hard for the money and you will make that money. You're going to be a happy man. But if you don't curb the nonsense that is on ground now, when that time comes, when you are supposed to enjoy your life and your family and your dogs, you're going to have cases rolling out on you. Because you see the land that we're in, you're going to have things that you have done 10 years ago, 5 years ago, slapping you left, right and center. But if you stop it now, then you're going to become greater than you think you would be. Think about these things. I know that the boys who have gone over 18 have calmed down. I know that the ones that are like a bone in our throats are the ones that are 16 years going 17. You, advise yourselves. Because you see, prison is real. It's not just going to the prison that is the issue. The fact is that after you come out, your record is dented. You would have limitations. We're thinking of you, of who you would become in the next 10 years. That is what we're thinking of. Think about it with us and try to live a better life. You see, your parents don't have a place to unwind. Like we don't have a pub where we can go to or a club. If we did, you would be able to come as well. Why? Because Every time a reasonable Nigerian, a reasonable South African, a reasonable Congolese or African person raises up to open up a place for us to unwind, some Nusians come up, fight, do something negative, report something that is not, and then the place is closed down. 
We need for you to become the men that are going to abide by the laws of Ireland and open for us the best of shisha bars, the best of nightclubs, the best of restaurants, the best of the best of the best of lounges, and the best of everything that we need in the land. But for you to do it, you need to borrow sense. Buy some sense. Buy some sense and become a normal, normal boy so that you can grow up to be a great man that would resolve the issues that we, ha we have on ground because we do not have anybody to fight for us. We were hoping on you that you would fight for us. But the way you're going, getting into fraud, selling little, little cracks and, and fighting yourselves over nonsense, you're breaking our hearts. Some of us are coming down with high blood pressure. Some people are having different kind of ailments. Your parents, they are suffering. Please, I beg you, come together. Let it become a land where a boy can just leave Tala or Luke and, and go to Blanchestown without fear. See, it's so bad that... A boy in Blanchestown cannot even get a job in Tala. A boy in Tala cannot get a job in Blanchestown. Guys, who on are they do? On are they do on herself? It's getting so bad. Stop it. You know if you want to form gangster, it will work. Ireland is one of the best places to raise children. You cannot stop it. A hundred of your kind cannot stop it. So curb it. Just kill the matter. Let it die. Because you cannot stop the peace that we have enjoyed the past couple of years. If you try to stop it, you would suffer the most. You will suffer the most. We are already used to our local lives the way we are. We are only going to cry maybe a day or two and everybody will just forget about you. Think about it. Advise yourselves. Whoever starts making peace between the Blanchest Town and the Tala boys and the Luke and Clondalkin boys would be considered the bigger boys, the real kings. So think about it. Make sure you are the real king. Make peace. Let's have African carnival. Let's be able to come out and not be afraid that somebody is going to start breaking bottles and running around. See the kind of insults that you have given us now. See insults. Eh? See insults. Somebody like Gemma cursing at your parents anyhow. Why? Because you have given her the room to do that. So she's right. It's just that she cannot deport you because except she wants to deport you to like, tal, uh, what do you call it? A lady of Lord's Hospital, uh, National Maternity, Coons Women Hospital, um, what's, Rotunda Hospital. That's where you were born. That's the, where you, you know, that's the only place she can send you to. She can't send you to Africa. But that's not even, that one doesn't shake me. What is shaking me is that I am worried that in the next 10 years, I will look for my boys. You. When I say my boys, and you might be in jail. Because trust me, they will pin you down. If they cannot deport you, they will frame you up. Boys are coming from college in Lucan. One boy coming from college with a backpack. He stopped and searched by the Gadi. What is their excuse? The red cow shenanigan. You gave them room. So stop it. So that they will stop humiliating you. So that they will start hiding under the disguise of your fight. To show us racism in its best shape and form. I hope you have listened to me. I hope you are going to make peace. I hope you are going to stop this nonsense. God bless you as you think about it and do something. Daddies and mommies, over to you. Those of you working endless hours. The people you are working for are not working endless hours. Look for time to look after your children. Stop working endless hours. Work your usual full-time hours. 40 hours at the mass. Maximum 40 hours. Work it and look after your children. Daddies and mommies, 
international taxi drivers who will never sit down at home, round the clock, counting egigwe, cash, kalash. Advise yourselves. Your children are turning into something else. And those ones, when I talk about people going from parties to parties, you start rolling blue. You want to punch Gloria because she says you are going up and down party. I'm not stopping you from partying because if you call me for a party, I'm going to come groove myself as well. But my point is, please concentrate on raising your children. Raise your boys and give us some peace in Ireland. Stop all the insults. We don't want it. Let it end. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel today. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is Real Talk with Glow. And would you please follow me on Instagram at Real Talk with Glow. God bless you.